keystone of So does all the church fall. The enemies of the church understand this clearly.
I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath.
jab is wearing good song. So, I, I don't understand why Mormons who choose to stay in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints can't own up to who they are. That they are ashamed to be members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. For example, <clears throat> being Mormon has to do with the keystone on the doors of the Salt Lake Temple, the headquarters. It's the inverted pentagram of Lucifer. And so the doctrines that are taught within the building with the keystone are those of Lucifer's. And Lucifer's doctrines are cover up and hide. Right there in the Temple Endowment text. And so it's not just an anti-porn position, anti-women for being women, but in the bigger context, expanding and broadening his doctrinal beliefs and his morality on Mormons, is also to cover up and hide your sins and your crimes. Helaman chapter 6, 21 to 23, is it? Because I'm 24. <clears throat> and so this is what Mormons do in practice. They cover up and hide their own sins, as well as the law of sacrifice, covering up and protecting the sins and crimes of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Because whenever the church is about to be exposed in the press, immediately the church threatens everybody to quash the story. Caught and killed. Instantly. We have seen it way too many times over the generations. That's why the church owns all of the local press here in Utah. And so I don't understand why Mormons won't own up to this, to say that we worship Lucifer, he is our Lord and Savior. To follow him, you have his morality, why won't you own it? Why are you ashamed of the gospel of Lucifer? Why are you getting mad at me? So. Bednar has been chosen to lead the protest tomorrow for the return of child bride polygamy and human trafficking. It's, it's complicated because it's adult and child trafficking as well as adult and child sex trafficking. That's the whole point and purpose of the Days of 47 celebration. You might be confused because you might think that it's uh, a celebration of statehood for the state of Utah. Which, no. It's when Brigham Young fled the United States and did all that human trafficking <coughs> and then murdered the, uh, the native people, not indigenous. Because that's a an evolutionary thing which is incorrect because if you're going to follow evolutionary theory you have to assume that mankind evolved in South uh, Eastern Africa and so that's not true technically it's January 4th when we're supposed to celebrate it 1896. Took way too long to find that out. <laughs> and so, yeah, Mormons don't understand. I don't understand why Mormons can't tell the truth and own it. That they are a criminal operation, not a religion. That they're just using Christianity, which Joseph Smith said was abominable, and so it's abominable that Mormons would claim their founder is Christian, which the founder said was abominable. That doesn't make any sense. 
Why can't Mormons own who they are? <clears throat> it's a very sad day when Kool-Aid causes amnesia and dementia. And so, uh, what it means to be a Mormon, if I can find it, yeah, I had to pull it off of the top of the box there. I had to add a couple more uh, name calling of bullying or psychologist. They're one and the same to my list. I added disturbed and loopy. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to distinguish between them. Am I a cash cow for the school bully or am I a cash cow for psychology? It's the same thing. Bullies grow up to be psychologists. <laughs> and so, I, it's weird that Expo Nevermos are. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. You're, you, you've got one of those bullying, psychology, name calling things going on. Because only. This church, this church, claims that Joseph Smith began priestcraft and extortion racket and <laughs> trafficking with Section 119, as well as uh, being a sexual deviant, as a rapist, adulterer, and a child rapist that Joseph Smith was a murderer of Mormons and American citizens, that Joseph Smith was a terrorist and a seditious conspirator, that Joseph Smith was Christian, changed the name of the church to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and the Book of Mormon was another testament of Jesus Christ about his second coming. That Joseph Smith is a criminal thief and a mobster. That Joseph Smith started the inverted pentagram of Lucifer. I, I, I'm baffled by that one. <laughs> that just blows my mind. Yeah, Joseph Smith put the inverted pentagram on the Nauvoo Temple. Had it dedicated on the May 1st anniversary of the Illuminati. Joseph was dead. For two years he was dead. Really? And so, you know, he blamed Joseph rather than Brigham Young. Huh? Okay, well, this is Brigham's church. Maybe that's why. And so, yeah, Brigham, this church from Brigham also uh, says that Joseph Smith change the succession process to have the president of the twelve to become the president of the church upon his death even though john taylor took three years to become the successor <laughs> that's how it was at the beginning even brigham young officially incorporated the church in uh, 1852 <coughs> And so, yeah, that's when he officially became the president of the church. And so, that's eight years later. Uh, that Joseph Smith was the leader of the Danites. That Joseph Smith approved, was approved of all of this by his family and Sidney Rigdon. That Joseph Smith denied the powers of prophet, seer, revelator, translator, and so they're now just titles, and translator became revelator. Rock in the hat. That, the, oh yeah, oh yeah, because that's when the history came out. We got something to add. Live breaking news! <clears throat> I 
that Joseph Smith turned his visionary accounts into literal history accounts. Visions into literal histories. Thank you. See, I'm inspired. <laughs> I'm a translator, which is revelator. <laughs> and Joseph Smith was a denier of religious freedom to others. <laughs> he made that change. <sighs> God. And you don't see that it was Brigham Young who made these accusations along with his Danites. His Thomas B. Marsh and his affidavit was told by Danites that Joseph Smith was all of this. And so that's why Joseph was put in his affidavit that caused the extermination order. And then there is the parish guy <coughs> who uh, claimed that Joseph Smith was purposely using Christianity to destroy Christianity of others. As told by Danites. So, yeah, it's amazing how people trust bullies for their source of information because just yesterday wasn't it I went over with you how Fox News bullying tactics have worked on Biden and now they're calling for his resurrection resur resignation his resurrection it's bullying 101 and the deep state Dems are playing ignorant they don't see it they're reporting it Republicans are calling for Biden to resign <laughs> it's bullying let's go over the list fine you convince me where was it, there it is. remember when it was just a few words remember back then all right, psychological name calling so that you can become a cash cow for a bully or a psychologist, which are bullies. In the state of Utah, they're starting to get imprisoned for their bullying tactics. Hmm. So the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints can have a monopoly on the bullying tactics of psychology through family services? Hmm. I see a conspiracy going on here. <laughs> Impaired, disabled, diseased, ill, retarded, mental health challenged, psychotic, psychopathic, mental, emotional, behaviorally challenged, unstable, hysterical, mental malfunction, chemical imbalance, extremist, radical, deranged, stressed, moron, depressed, special, criminal, LGBTQIAPL+, oh, you got punked by the bully psychologist. Religious extremist, religious fanatic, religious fundamentalist, illiterate, crazy, mad, psycho, schizo, schizophrenic, sensitive, mental problems, cuckoo, needing professional help, unhinged, is it, didn't you say that earlier? Nope, I didn't. Page two, mental inability. Nut, nuts, nutty, fruit, fruity, batty, loony, bipolar, behavioral problems, attitude problem, snowflake, flake. Remember Senator Flake, Mormon from Arizona? What's he up to lately? Did he have to hide in shame like Mia Love, who showed Trump no love? Demented, stupid, in denial of the list. <laughs> Needing help. Cray cray, addicted, psychic, <laughs> rabid, uncivilized, not woke, politically incorrect, attitude problem. Didn't I have that? Wasn't that a? 
No, that was the other. Okay. <coughs> Loopy and disturbed. Down with the sickness. Well, that's what it means to be a Mormon. And why Mormons can't own it beyond me. I've been spending my whole time all these years showing how Joseph Smith's church really was. How the Book of Mormon really is. And I had a person comment yesterday who is using the fallacy argument to claim that the Book of Abraham is uh, debunked because all the different scholars say so. Is this it? I see Abraham, Book of Abraham. This could be it. Blow it up. So yeah, on my original Ten Commandments found proves LDS Church is Sabbath true. And so I'm talking about being critical of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Apparently he's illiterate. He thinks I'm supporting the Church. <laughs> he doesn't understand sarcasm. So Don Renke? Yeah, right. Like the Book of Abraham is authentic. Yeah, it is. It's been confirmed by Egyptologists as a legitimate document from the Egyptian papyri. That's how the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York uh, recognized it as belonging to the, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints because of the Book of Abraham, because of the match, you know, matching. You ever play that as a kid? So yeah, it's it's an authentic Egyptian papyri. Now, if he's trying to claim that the Book of Abraham is not a correct translation, well, he doesn't understand this church changed translator to revelator. So he didn't actually translate. He revealed. Because it's not the day and the hour anymore. Now, inspiration. Whatever comes to the top of his head is called revelation now. <clears throat> but then he goes, it's been debunked by many scholars. Yeah. He has no clue who I am. He didn't go to my academia.edu page. You see, I deciphered Paleo-Hebrew. Because when checking... William Foxwell Albright's work from his little pamphlet for his claim to decipherment of Paleo-Hebrew, which he claimed was proto sinaitic I ran the matching test. Nope. There is no match. God. And so, yeah, it is very clear that Paleo-Hebrew had never been deciphered exactly like my instructor in Biblical Hebrew at the University of Lethbridge taught us. Nobody knows Paleo-Hebrew. Well, Foxwell Albright had already come out with his decipherment, and here Walter Emanuel Offrecht Harvard student of Thomas O. Lambden, whose book on Hebrew grammar was studied worldwide. <clears throat> Everybody knows William Foxwell Albright was a dumbass. <laughs> but he's the foremost scholar and everybody still, despite me, keeps pushing his falsehoods. And so he, this Don Guide has no clue about the scientific processes. You have to use logic, Socratic methodology in the development of your theories that need to be tested three times for confirmation. Or he could have just watched which Fast and Furious was it? 
was it 10? Because didn't they just do 11? And we're waiting for 12, but the end of the world is coming, and so we may not get to find out if he survived the dam breaking. So pissed. Couldn't you just make it a longer movie? I would have been fine with that. I mean, it was awesome. <laughs> a giant rolling ball almost destroyed the Vatican. I'm going, wait a minute. This is about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, not about the Vatican. <laughs> Theme song in the description below. Abraham is legitimate by Joseph as a translation not revelation not rock and a hat crap Joseph Smith had nothing to do with the composition of the Book of Mormon guys why won't you listen to me why don't you believe I have demonstrated I am a prophet seer revelator and translator those are science they're not spiritualism Yet, here we have some dumbass who doesn't understand my channel, didn't want to listen to me. And so I even did an example again just the other day, or the other week, or whatever, explaining Abraham. Maybe it was in this video. I don't know. <clears throat> but when I deciphered Paleo Hebrew, making correct matching, Oh, that was easy. <laughs> How many centuries was it extinct? <laughs> I did it in six months. <sighs> I would then go on to, yeah, sorry Egyptologist, you're wrong too. They only know Jean Champollion's decipherment of the Rosetta Stone. And then they use that on the rest of Egyptian documents. You can't do that. Because the Rosetta Stone is the learning of the Greeks, language of the Egyptians. They imposed Greek onto the Egyptian to turn the Egyptian into a Greek speakable type language but that's not Egyptian the learning of the Egyptians language of the Egyptians still to this day except for me having deciphered it is extinct nobody knows that the Egyptian language like paleo Hebrew are visionary languages that's why they're pictures <clears throat> and so when I deciphered Egyptian then I recognized that the Bible stories came from the Egyptian documents. That they were changing the names to the different language, because Egyptian is not Hebrew. No, duh. It's like, Egyptian is not Greek. No, duh. <clears throat> and then they would tell the stories from the pictures. And so what you have with the Book of Abraham are the three facsimiles that Joseph Smith selected out of all the others that could have been chosen, and he put them in a specific order, and it's the three solar eclipses over the United States of America in the latter days, and all Mormons miss it because they think that it's revelation. <laughs> and don't really want to get into it because there's men's Only number two is porn. <clears throat> we have to be against porn. 
That's Lucifer's plan of happiness. <sighs> and so, yeah. It facts only number one was the example in the video that I did. Where, yes, it's Osiris, alive, on a lion couch, altar, and he's being prepared for the afterlife. Clearly he's alive, but yet he's being prepared for the afterlife. He's being murdered. Very obvious. Because if you tilt him up, he's in the prayer position. And so what does Joseph Smith say for the text of Abraham chapter 1? Yeah, he got it right. He knew exactly what was going on. He even knew that there was a hawk falcon in the missing place where rats had nibbled it. Because of the text. The Prince of the Lord and the Angel of the Lord. That's the Bob bird. Joseph knew. Nobody believes him. Everybody denies because they don't know Egyptian. And so, no, it has not been debunked by many scholars. And the only reason why I'm going on to this is because we only are at 27 minutes into the video. We've got three more hours to go. <laughs> the main video was done long ago. <laughs> and so, facts only number two, yeah, it's an I, sure. Fine, John Gee's father got it right, but it's many other things as well. It's a annular eclipse, because the Egyptian eye of Horus for the right eye is a, an eclipse, a solar eclipse, lunar eclipse for the left eye. <coughs> and. And it's also a woman's womb. So what does Joseph Smith do with section or chapters three through the rest? Creation. He redoes the creation story. He talks about the solar system. Joseph knows. He understands. He got it right. Nobody gives him credit for this. And then the third one, Joseph never got to. But I've gone over with you. It's Revelation 19, 11 and 17. The wedding supper feast of the Lamb at the Zion Temple. Because they're holding hands. Ma'at and Horus. From the Greek pronunciation. Har or whore, depending on which European country you're from, doing the archaeological research. You change the vowels. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's real simple. And it's sad that this guy is in denial of who I am because he didn't even want to bother to try to find out who I am. He comes to one video, assumes I'm wrong assumes I'm supporting the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> oh my god. He did not even read the thumbnail picture. <laughs> Let's find it. Why are you not reading? Are you illiterate, guys? These things are hilarious. Egyptians, Jews, Nephites, Christians, and Islamists are all wrong. Did you not catch on to that? We're done. We'll just have a longer day today.
can get back to watching Stargate. Since it's going to be a state holiday tomorrow, everybody's already lining up along the, f the road for the path. Child bride polygamy! Child bride polygamy! Lucifer's plan of happiness! We'll have to work on a chance, I guess. You know, it's like... <laughs> I got rhythm! <laughs> Fozzie Bear and the Muppets. 